Hello and welcome to Tattoo Shop Talk, it's Yuris and Dan. Today we will talk about hand tattoos, knuckle tattoos and palm tattoos. More on what it's like to having them, but some little tips on also how to make them. We are not experts in that field, there are people who do it way better. Those few things that we know we will chip in. Let's go one by one, this part, this part, this part. Let's start with this part. What it is like to tattoo that place is much like any other place it's actually usually quite nice and stretched yeah as long as you are aware of around the knuckles or around the smaller parts here and also the sides because this gets more damaged or more worn out with time because you bend and work your hands all the time because you use them well, bendy part is bendy yeah. part, but yeah, you can figure out the stretch and get it done. To get that part done, pain-wise, it's not too bad. I mean, it is annoying, but it's not... Okay, maybe you tell, because I have little bits, but uh, I, I didn't feel it. I wouldn't say it's too bad. Well, I felt it. It's not the worst thing that I've tried. There's way worse. And if you work for several hours, some tattoo artist wants you to like make a fist while you're getting tattooed here just to scratch, uh, stretch the skin. But then it can be quite sore and irritated after a couple of hours. Not the worst thing that I've tried. And how it's like healing? Healing wise, it's okay. Again, with the bendy parts and everything around the wrist. There is almost every time like those faults that get kind of irritated uh, again because you have to work with your hands or you have to use them. All in all it's just like every other tattoo. Just be careful and with you work with your hands if you're artist or anything remember to take a couple of days off yeah that's the main main part i want to talk about because one thing is having them one thing is paying but also like you have to keep them safe and for example mm -hmm. as for like people working in tattoo shops you use gloves a lot then you will get all the the good juices on it mm -hmm. and i I know tattooist who got infection and it was some sort of crazy infection that it was those resistant bacteria types and she had to have some sort of bleach bath type of a thing. I didn't get into details but it sounds horrible enough. Then also we had a situation that's not like hands that was arm. A guy, he's a chef and he should know all the hygiene and cross-contamination. But what happened was his uh, mom's basement got flooded with some sewage uh, yeah, water yeah. and he went to help out. And then afterwards he felt funky, went to hospital and they were like, yeah, if you would give it a few more hours, it could end really bad. So that's the thing to keep in mind, that you have to have time to heal them. Mm. Like we had uh, one guy, he was getting the tattoo there. And usually there's the thing like if you're not like covered, you don't do hands, you don't do necks. And that guy had few tattoos and he was getting this part done and we were like, but how do you feel about all that thing where people say this and that and he's like well i'm a barber so this is like he, he was on holiday for him it's now the only time where he will not use it for work for like a couple of weeks so he actually have time to heal that's a very important thing to keep in mind whatever you're doing this well oh yeah like i have a little ones here but i have this beautiful implant thingy and when i got this done it swelled so like I couldn't see the the shapes on implant and same on this side they also swell so that part can be annoying this one was hand pulled actually and it didn't hurt that bad but when it was healing it looked crap I was like this is gonna fall out like it was all scabby and I was like there's no way it will heal but then it healed and it's perfect let's move down to fingers knuckles and all that jazz I would say that on doing part on doing tattoos there, on these parts you better do a little bit too much than too little because they can fall out and then they're patchy but I'm pretty lucky even on all the bendy parts a lot of it have stayed but also the guys who did it some of them knew what they're doing some of them <laughs> didn't on some parts but it's it's still there what it's like to have them mine was bad but okay bad but this gentleman right here he <laughs> really wanted to get his knuckles done and in a style that i don't know what it's called but you can tell your story and how it felt and how it was and how it's comparing to yeah well i for the last year year and a half have been dying to get some dark lettering on my fingers i think it's super cool and everything and then there was this guest artist that came in 
I was like, I'm gonna get it. It sucked. It hurt like crazy. Again, also, I would say that I wasn't that prepared. It was pretty spontaneous. It was pretty spontaneous, yeah. But the thing about having to prepare yourself before getting a tattoo, I would 100% recommend it. Like getting something to eat, some good sleep, like really have built up some energy for it because it is a slight trauma to your body and the fingers it hurts. Also we bullied you into reach out to the guy in like last minute on a day yeah. where you're like oh I would like to and then in two hours you had like your appointment booked so I think you also need to sort of mentally prepare because how long did it took? Two and a half hours. -ish. Two and a half hours on a sensitive spot. You can tell that he went, that was, he, he meant it. Yeah, he have done a lot of finger tattoos and everything. Again, with the um, fingers, because it's well worn, then you have to work really, really hard and thoroughly. Slight blowouts, but that's fine as long as it stays. That hurts. Also because when you're out in the joints, parts where you have to stretch a little bit and on the inside of the fingers and everything. You're so sensitive there because you're not used to getting like the insides of your finger scratch against the door frame or something. It really hurt. Like these kind of suck. Not too bad comparing to some more painful places. One thing I found out and I think you also find that out that <laughs> numbing doesn't help much on those areas. The, the way I tried it, the, didn't help a lot. Maybe it even made it worse. Because it was very spontaneous, I had a little bit of numbing cream that I put on and when he ran over those spots, it was actually pretty nice compared to everything else. Was it nice or was it less bad? <laughs> it was less bad. Yeah, same thing applies for further down. How was pain on a dots? I heard from some people that it's not too bad and from some that it's each dot was like sort of I'm gonna throw up and pass out. I did the dots myself. I did them over two times because first time I didn't go through enough. That ish. Just wanted them to be more visible, so I took a 14 round shader and did the one. One, like give it a second or two, and now it stays. So yeah, it wasn't that bad actually. I think because you did it yourself. Then you also kind of the adrenaline and everything. Yeah. But again, with those parts, it's better to do a bit more than too little because mm. otherwise they fall out and now it's the trendy stuff with all the super skinny lines. In my experience, they don't stay that don't well. Last now. Yeah. There's probably somebody who's doing them and they heal perfect, but in my experience, not that great. And also what you see on Instagram, on some artist pages, and then when you see that in person, it's uh, yeah. different stories. I like when people also post pictures of healed ones, so, so you can mm. see that like in half a year it looks like that. It's either not there or that line is like three times thicker. Let's move to the palm tattoos. A little note, since we are in Denmark and we have to travel outside the country to get course, our hands tattooed, necks tattooed, because for, for some reason that's not allowed. They're speaking about changing those rules, but for now, Full disclaimer, there's Germany, <laughs> there's, Sweden, <laughs> there's Sweden, Sweden, yeah, there's, there's a ways, you know? Yeah, Denmark is the only place that has that rule because of the king, but that's a whole nother story. Okay, now it's the fun part, palms, palm tattoos, they do hurt, and for them to stay, they have to suck. Mm -hmm. And we know who Luke actually is, because always when you say anything about uh, palm tattoos, everyone is like, oh, have you seen this guy, like yeah, I did yeah. your palm tattoo and three or four people message me like oh you know this guy and it's like now i know yeah by the way on uh on the blackboard convention there was one girl who had both palms done by him the look ashley or yeah cool and people were taking pictures and it was awesome so that guy is expert we are practitioners okay mine was done by tattoo machine and the guy who did it he have never by then used uh, direct there, rotary, so it was first time for him trying rotary machine and first time tattooing palm. We did the shop logo and it's done twice. It was a little touch up and at first I was like, yeah, well, it's a bit blown there and a skinnier line there. But with time when I saw other people palm tattoos, I was like, this is great. This yeah. is like actually detailed. It did hurt, but I remember that I was sort of 
trying to calm myself down that it's not that big of a tattoo and it's going to be over soon. Also, it's pretty hard to sort of stretch it, so you have to do all that stuff or tattooists have to do it because mm. it's just natural that it tries to sort of fold in. You have to go at it like you, like you mean it. Have you tattooed palms? No. Okay. So no. if you want him to get a palm tattoo by me, then leave a like and say, go for it. 100 likes and I get it. <laughs> yeah, YouTuber life. Mine is done by a machine. You can tell your stories and then, uh, yeah, uh, I don't know if I'll have so anything else to chip in. Okay, so first of all, I have this, which is hand poke. It's actually seven or eight years old, so it's pretty decent in there and everything. But yeah, there was hand poke. It's the thing with like stretching the skin. So uh, the artist actually taped my hand to an armrest just to have it flat as possible. I can't remember how long exactly it took, but I think it was around one and a half, two hours or something where he uh, ran through it like two or three times. So it actually was in there. Again, every tattoo suck. This sucked as well. Like it was mainly after we were finished because I had all the adrenaline in my body and I was like, huh, I can't remember that we finished actually long time ago. You said you think you passed out. Maybe. And you looked like you did pass out because you were at some point confused and all like... I have a video somewhere where I got it done. In the moment of getting tattooed I was just like this and then maybe I hyperventilated or I forgot to breathe or something. Remember to breathe. It's the key to actually getting through a tattoo. Again, I think it also was some of the adrenaline or something. The guy who did yours, he was a supposed to tattoo another tattoo is they did like one line or few dots and he was like mm -mm, yeah, 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 yeah and then the other one is done with tattoo machine yeah i did it with the what's the british one rotary works yeah and i haven't used that machine that much but it did work for this one and i'm pretty happy with the result i would go over it one more time but then needs to recover emotionally and yeah, yeah with palm tattoos i would say touch up is probably if you're not some expert, then there's probably a touch-up. Yeah, with hand tattoos and everything, there's some small script here that was touched up and it's still a bit blurry, but again, it's also in red. I have one here as well. And behind the fingers, there's also numbers again in red, but they also had like a touch-up or two. They're just gonna fade, but that's pretty much it on i have there i always forget that i had them on the right hand that's worn off almost completely but here you can see some letters but it just looks like a, a scar or like a blown blood vessels or something healing wise palm i don't remember it being bad i think it was kind of sensitive for three days and then it sort of got a lot better really quick Mm. It was, I think it was the same with you, right? Yeah, for me it was like with some of the lines here, they were super sensitive. So if I had like a nail or something move it, I was like, huh, that was, I felt that. But it was pretty quickly over. I think it's three or four days and then it's fine. Yeah. That's another thing. Again, as we say, if you are a tattooist or you work in some sort of environment that's not good for tattoo, remember that you will need to take a few days off. Mm. For the knuckles that you had done, that looked pretty bad. Like, first few days they were swollen, you looked like yeah. you have a, like a Mickey Mouse hands. You came in to check how is your grip, because you had to book somebody in that you had to move. Yeah. You walked like a Lego man, you couldn't... Yeah, I couldn't grip or, or get a really good handle around my machine, so I was like, yeah, I'm probably gonna take a few days more off. If you are a tattooist and you rely on what you do, then mm -hmm. you have to move some appointments around. So you basically have to have like a week off or something. Yeah. Also with rubbing alcohol and everything, when you have to clean your hands, that shit hurts. So make sure that, that it's actually healed before you clean your hands that way. Again, the infection, chance of getting infection, that's... Nobody needs that, but also the aspect that depends where you are financially. Mm -hmm. If you have a week without customers or some, it can be maybe bigger deal than others. You don't want to rush it. You don't want to be like, oh, okay, I'll get back to work in three days and get the whole thing infected. That's dangerous. And you can also mess up your tattoo. Mm. If you go to some big time guys that it might also not be that cheap. 
So you spend a lot of money and then mess it up. Not great for anyone. For Paul tattoos, I usually also like, obviously I explain to people that I'm not an expert, but if you understand that design is going to be a bit chunky, it's going to hurt and there's most likely a touch up and people are fine with it and the design makes sense. We go for it. I would say nothing too skinny. For hand poked ones, they're super bold. They look like they're done with marker. Yeah. It works. I've seen some in done in color that's also healed also by the expert guy. I did one in white and it healed. I don't think we even did a touch up and it was fine and guy... I'm pretty sure he's like a hairdresser, but he managed to heal it. He was the type that was like, yeah, I have tattoos, I can take it. And he wear this long, cool clothing part that I don't know what it's called. But basically when he was done, when he stood up, the paper that covered bed, there was like a blurry outline of him just sweated in. And he was like, yeah, no, this is dif different. This is next level. If you do a tattoo there and person says it doesn't hurt, then you probably need to go a bit harder. This part is worse than he than this part only obviously when you grab something and stuff like that when you use this part but otherwise this was worth this I don't remember it being that bad but it was a very long time ago remembering how Dan was suffering <laughs> that looked just horrible that, because of you I'm not gonna do anything <laughs> these I'll be parts gentle. I'd rather do here than here we mentioned how bad it was for you. I felt sorry. <laughs> <laughs> now it's done. Now it's out of way. And now you don't have to worry about that stuff. So yeah, that's exactly. also That's another thing. Maybe sometimes it's done and it's out of the system and it's all good. Yeah, I still have space. The tips in doing stuff. This is gentle and this is sort of do a bit more than usual. It's better to do more than less. And palms is do a lot. Obviously, I have the implant. That's no tattooist want to go near. They're like, yeah, mm, I'm not feeling it. And if you have a situation like this, where you have tattoos here and here, this gap is annoying now. Design-wise, my girlfriend said something about hand tattoos, and now I see it a lot, where people do like, a, they cover this part just like that, and then it looks like a, like a pig feet, because it's almost like a line that cuts it off. Mm -hmm. Now yours is pointy there, like, and yours goes over a bit, knuckles, yeah. but you know, some people get like a mandala or something that would end oh, yeah, with yeah. the line and it looks like you're on hold or something. That I think it's better to do leave some corners or just go over it a bit. Doesn't look like you have a animal feet. Skinny stuff on fingers that's more, like it's trendy but it should be somebody who's specializing in that thing. It's probably out there. I just I'm not out there so I haven't seen it. And just keep it simple like don't put a whole lot of details in it because they won't last. Especially if it's places that's hard to work with, places that healing badly or like have a longer healing. Keep it simple because that'll last a whole lot better than a bunch of small details that just disappear. For these parts it's also like when you do them to stretch them you have to try all sorts of weird ways how you can hold it and then how you can maintain that grip and still get with your tattoo machine in there. Like I often like wrap paper towels around and like all sorts of stuff. I will look this close at them and I'm like, yeah, they could do a bit of rework probably, but whatever. Any tips from you on healing or on doing tattoos or sort of safety tips, then leave that in a comment section and do the usual, press like. If you don't like this video, then press dislike twice. Leave a comment, check our playlist, see you in a future episode. Give Dan a follow on Instagram. Peace.